right, Shalom. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who does lead and rule well. Salutations to all you hopeful like Aki and pushing out this word in truth and in sincerity, laboring throughout the four corners of the earth. And sincere Shalom to Aki and Aqua for listening and learning as well. Uh, and to the house, entire household of faith who's walking this good uh, fight of faith, I want to say Shalom. This is Brother Dakar from the Great Millstone DC camp. Come back at you with another lesson, and I'm entitled it. Uh, another words to my thoughts all right and i'm entitled it um a lot some of you brothers don't understand what you're a part of all right and um you know it was just on my spirit you know pretty much uh not knowing that the power that you serve man you know not truly knowing who the lord is because the scriptures say what uh learn of me how shall i said that learn of me he is wisdom he is the one that making you at peace with the heavenly father, man, who, who looks at us as enemies, man. Who, who, who looked at us as enemies, man. Who looks at, uh, uh, at the two thirds of Jake as enemies. And he's about to bring great wrath on the planet earth, man. That's why the Lord, <laughs> if you watching, you know, what you, you see what the Lord doing, you know, and it's, <clears throat> we supposed to be learning and growing, man. And, and understanding the program that the Lord set up, you know, but a lot of people, you know, are not, is not moving in fear, you know, understanding what time we in, you know, not going according to the Lord's program, but uh, going according to your own program, Walk, walking according to your own mind, man, you know, not, not, uh, Understanding the the the, the, uh, the brotherhood or the um, structure that the Lord set up in the last days, scriptures talk about that, man. People that's uh, going to be despisers of government, you know, people that uh, that that hate correction, you know, men walking uh, according to their own lust. The scriptures talk about that, man. You know, and and. He said, just because you, you you know the name of the Lord, you know, you may be um, teaching, if you will. If you're not going according to the, the, the structure that the Lord set up, you're not really walking in the spirit. You know, look at these. We, we talked about the other caps and this is, is, is this message. Of every, you know, them too. You know, you walking, you're not doing the will of the Lord. You may be teaching uh, some of the doctrine, but you're not getting all of it, man. You know, you still aren't able to recognize certain things, man, in the spirit, because you're not walking according to the spirit. You're still walking according to your own heart. All right, because you'll do. The scriptures talk about uh, you. 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 Uh, carry on for a while until you're offended, man, because of the word. You know, it's brothers bringing bringing out things according to the word or, or according to you know how you feel. You know, what 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 is the um, standard, and, and and are you holding yourself to to that standard, man? Other scriptures, man. That's why we were supposed to be born again. L know what that means, you know. And and um, you putting away childish things. We supposed to be growing in the truth, growing spiritually. A lot of people, uh. You know, for lack of a better word, take advantage of, of, of the brotherhood, or don't really. What's the word? Uh, not take advantage. They don't appreciate it, man. <laughs> Scriptures talk about uh, it's a body, and the Lord set up teachers, man. We have teachers, you know, that that's teaching us the right way now. The scripture say, "Dying eyes will see that." Thing. We didn't have that at one point, man. So. So you gotta hey, you gotta humble yourself to, to, to certain men. They over you in the spirit. You know? This is not something to where you can just you know, you just oh something offends you and you decide you're gonna do your own thing, man. Now some cases that happens, if you really teaching the word in truth and sincerity, you know. But <laughs> it's just about moving in fear. 
you know? You got to understand and understand the operation that the Lord is, is has set up here, man. Otherwise, what was he doing the whole time, man? Remember, this wisdom, wisdom have to try you. If certain men are still in there, they got a good name and they've been tried. You know how to, like I said, it makes you at, uh, friends with the Lord, at peace with the Lord. And you know how the Lord feels about his friends. The most High himself was about to smite them damn heathens when they was about to uh, commit adultery on Abraham's wife, his friend. Now, they didn't even know. But that's how the Lord feels about his friends, man. And yeah, uh, Yahweh Shai, he feels a certain way about his friends too. Said so if you offend one of them little ones, then 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 you, it's better that you put a millstone around your neck, man, and can jump into the sea. Now you may look at yourself as, as one of them little ones, and, and, and you can be, you know. And this is just speaking in general, all of us speaking to myself, you know, as well, you know. But you, but. Are you going according to what the body is saying, what the scriptures said? Because the scriptures already told you the order. But then you got uh, certain men the Lord set up to enforce it. Men in the flesh, still, you know? But he set up a certain order for a reason. You know, more so to, to prevent chaos, <laughs> you know? And the Lord will test you, man. We're supposed to be learning of these things. So we got to be uh, constantly examining ourselves. You know, to, to submit to the yoke of, of the Lord, man. It's for your learning. All right. Now, Yahweh Shai, he said what? That um, not only the cast of millstone, but he said he said when when my friend was in need, you you clothed me, and things like that, man. So the Lord really cares about his friends, man. And guess what? His friends is the ones that that the scriptures talk about. That your elders they care for your souls. You know, they vouching for you as well. You know? But some people not afraid to speak evil of dignities. We got examples. We all seen these examples of men that just say whatever they want. You know? But what about all the men that's judges? You don't wanna uh you don't wanna take heed to, to are not we all spiritual men? Does not the scripture say we we uh, should be able to judge the smallest of matters? You know, we're gonna be supposed to be judges of the universe, and you can't, you can't as a man, <laughs> you know, go go through certain things, man. You know, you know when we was children, somebody say something wrong to us, we you know we ready to fight. Or um, when we was young, I'm talking about in the world, you know, we had certain jobs, we better just quit because we don't feel, you know, they disrespected me. Nah, and this thing of ours, you know, this truth, us in this body, and you know how important the body is. It's connected to the vine. If you're not uh, uh, on the vine, you're going to wither away, man. And we've seen it. Does that not put you in fear? To, hey, shit, I might be wrong sometimes. You know? You just, oh, oh. hey, man. <sighs> Whatever, man. You know, but also, just the reward, man. Keep your eyes on the reward. You know? The men that stand so stiffly, them that endure to the end. The Lord, first of all, the Lord gave you the, the body to help. Two is better than one. You know, as the scriptures say. They can, we, they can see certain things you may not be able to see. You know? The Lord, the Lord uh, uh, selected souls from the foundation of the earth to wake up in these last days. Which is a part of the mission that we uh, uh, have been called to do. Our duty. Going into the highways and the byways, you know, waking up our brethren, telling our people their sins, announcing the return of the Lord. He gave he have an organization, a, a way that he set things up, the way it's supposed to be, according to how he wanted it. <coughs> you know? But them that stand so stiffly, them that endure until the end, obeying the voice of the Lord, following the land with us, so if we go, if we're going to be crowned. So it's really good to have a good name. But who is them people that's going to be vouching for you as well? Them, them that's going to give account to your souls. You know? But if you did, what did Yahweh Shah say? He said, believe them for the very work's sake. If it if it, at all in doubt, you know, like King David said, even about King Saul, man, to not uh touch one of the Lord's anointed. Th that's moving in fear of the Lord. Not as of, of a man, but of the Lord. 
you know? <laughs> you got demons that'll say that's men pleasing. Because you don't understand what you're a part of, man. All right? But, man, just keep your eyes on the reward, man. If we if we want them uh, men governing in the world, the reward is just so great, man. That's why what we going through ain't but nothing but a light affliction is nothing. It ain't worthy to be compared to what the reward the Lord is about to give us. You know, but you got to be, be a man of character. Okay? You know, but that's that's pretty much the point, man. You know, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Kadash. And I want to say Shalom.